the man card. I have one. I don't know how many of y'all have a man card, but I just wanted to talk to you about my man card. My recommendation, if you guys just want like a novelty thing to buy, novelty thing to own, my favorite cutter, by the way. Really enjoy this. But so here I ordered a man card. There's this fellow I follow on YouTube. His name is Jeremy Cyrus. I think it's Jeremy Cyrus. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, Jeremy, like my bad. Really trying to get it right. Y'all know sometimes me and names just don't get along. But he has this man card that he created. This thing is nice. I want to unbox one show you what it looks like when you're unboxing it but this is the walnut case that the man card is kept in i bought several giving some to my friends so like in many cultures the origins of the man card are it's not literally a card it's a level of respect that you're given by your tribe your culture or society um, some cultures give you that level of respect upon reaching a certain age like reaching puberty between the ages of 13 here in America, you're considered a man kind of when you reach the age of 18. Kind of the same age, you can kick somebody out the house. But, you know, we give people the respect of being a man. Whatever that means to you, you know what I'm saying? And you can have a man car regardless of your sexual orientation. Like, don't get it twisted. Just because there's some out there that may be gay or straight or whatever, you still get a man car. But you can also have your man car revoked. A lot of things that get your man card revoked around these quarters, my man cave, really it's going to a lot of just crazy acts towards women. A lot of like feminine choices, like using like feminine body washes and you come in here smelling like, you know, some type of Chloe perfume. Another thing is like if mistreatment, like once you become a man, you gain a certain amount of power mistreatment of those that are perceived to be weaker than you i mean we can revoke your man card for that just because you know there's a lot of around us that have power and if we see that you can't even treat people well that are weaker than you then what does that say about you finally uh if you come over here crying and whining after your girlfriend or your wife or your boyfriend or whatever dumps you like that's gonna get your man card revoked also just doing some funny stuff you know in this quarter, putting cream in your coffee, it's going to get your man card broke. Sugar, okay, we can tolerate that, but I drink coffee black around here. So let me unbox this for you. Jeremy Sears, really nice stamp on here. Has his initials, actually has his signature right on the front. It's pretty nice. Nice and banded. The company that shipped this to me is called Exclusive. You know, they did a really good job of boxing this up, but their logo is really, really similar to the Exchange logo. The Exchange logo, for those that are vets out there, crazy because the Exchange logo, and I'll put it up there for you to see, is what, you know, veterans are used to seeing. And it's kind of suspect, but you know, that's neither here nor there. You know, I am not a trademark guy. I'm just trying to let you know that it's a little little suspect but it's well packaged seems to be the way you get through this you kind of got to rip this right open here so i've already opened up one of these like i said i have several of these i've already given a few to some folks but i just wanted to kind of show you what it looks like when you get it I mean, <clears throat> as soon as these went on sale, I had to pick one up. I picked up one. I actually think I bought five, to be honest with you. Very nice packaging. Now, the reason that this is so well wrapped is not to be a headache, but it's supposed to be kind of a pleasure. You open this up while smoking a cigar. Maybe you're having a beer, maybe you're having some bourbon, maybe you're having some vodka, whatever. 
But you can sit down, open this up. It's a good talking piece. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Stuff out the way. This thing is really nice. And this is a solid piece of brass. I mean, it is nice in the front. The front is his logo. You know, he has his massive beard and mustache combo. He's a big cigar, everyday carry, knife type of guy as well. One solid piece of brass stamped. And it has his saying that he says a lot, Andantes Fornda Uat. Andantes Fornda Uat. Which to sum it up, it means fortune favors the boat, which is something that he lives by. You know, I tend to live by Semper Fidelis, another Latin saying, which means always faithful, comes with the Marine Corps in me, but very nice, solid brass. Also, the box itself, super nice. One piece of walnut, laminated together, has little rare earth magnets that holds the lid on, so you can come that up. You know, that goes on and off. I mean, how sweet would this be? The holidays are coming up soon. They're coming up fast. I mean, I would recommend this definitely to be something that you would consider to give a buddy. You give a friend. And you can demand it be revoked. They do some crazy stuff. So, I definitely give this a thumbs up. I give this a go buy. Must purchase. If you want to see some of the other stuff I keep in my man cave, things that we talk about around here, we're real big on Uno. This is the classic Uno from the early 90s. The classic cards. I got like six different versions of Uno just in my man cave because that's the type of stuff we like to do. Kind of just shoot the shit, chill out. So let me know if you want me to do unboxings or kind of reviews of the things that I keep around here, things I use. I'm definitely down to do that. Until next time, I'll catch y'all soon. That's good flavor.